some of the fans who were out there who had walked by the station. They were they were you know sweating. Mm. I mean this was a this was did not feel like the last September weekend. It did fall. not. It felt like a summer game yeah. for us today. Afternoon highs in the low 90s, and yes, we did tie a record for this afternoon out at DIA. And this is what it looked like on our time lapse through the afternoon. A few high clouds passing through, but definitely warm temperatures. 92 degrees, our record high set back in 1892. The actual high today, 92 degrees, tying that record out at the airport. Our average high this time of year should only be about 74 degrees, so it should definitely be feeling like fall out there. On the other hand, we're in the 90s for highs today. 93 in Greeley, 90 in Fort Collins with 70s and 80s for the mountains and low 90s out toward Grand Junction. Our weather headlines, cooler weather to start the week. To, on Tuesday, we'll have temperatures in the 70s for the afternoon as a cold front rolls through Colorado, and it'll be sunny pretty much all week long. So we have some nice, quiet weather on the way. 92 are high today. That record, as I mentioned, set back in 1892. And on average, we should be around 74 degrees for our high. At this point, we're still in the upper 80s here from downtown to DIA. 15% humidity in our winds out of the south southwest at 8 miles an hour. Now, we do have a few isolated showers off to the west, uh, but I also wanted to point out the remnants of Helene still affecting West Virginia up into uh, the Delmarva, and we are going to be seeing that rain continuing through the northeastern part of the U.S. here in the next 24 hours. So still a lot of problems with all of this moisture moving through and a ton of flooding for the east coast. Our future cast, we're going to be very quiet in through the rest of tonight, and we'll have temperatures dropping into the 50s for overnight lows. We are going to see mostly clear skies, 57 here in Denver for that overnight low, and we'll have 50s all across the eastern plains as we get through tomorrow morning. 30s up toward Leadville, 40s into Steamboat, Eagle, and Aspen. We'll also have 60s near Grand Junction and right around Denver. Temperatures mostly in the upper 50s for those early morning temperatures as you head out the door. Our temperatures in the 60s mostly for the early morning will be at 72 degrees by 9 a.m. and into the low 80s as we get into the early afternoon. 85 will be our high tomorrow. So we're coming down out of that record territory into the mid 80s, still about 10 degrees above average for this time of year, but it should be a little more comfortable for us as we get into the afternoon with those sunny skies. We'll have temperatures mostly in the 70s and 80s off to our west, 70s and 80s here for northeastern Colorado and 90s for the southeastern part of the state. So it'll take a little bit before all of this cool air makes its way across the entire state. Now at this point, we're going to see those highs tomorrow in the 80s here, 70s off to our north and east up toward Fort Morgan, Sterling and Akron, and also 70s off to the west. So that warm, dry air moving out of the way, allowing for this cold front to come through Colorado and really start to cool us off into the beginning of the week. But after Tuesday, we pop right back up to about 90 degrees for an afternoon high. So we're going to see a cool down here. It's very short lived to 76 degrees on Tuesday, sunny and cooler, warming back up on Wednesday to 90 degrees. And we'll be in the mid to upper 80s to round out the week and get into next weekend.